So it is simple really, uh, first we need a picture box, select the picture box, double click on it, and let's select the random image, do we have an image in my pictures that we can use, and press ok, so do everything on phone load just to make it simple, and go back to the image so we can stretch it and see it clearly, set it to stretch, Talk in the containers, we can see it in the full form. Go to the f back to the form and do have the code in Notepad. Comment it out, so I'll not comment each part or just rewrite everything. Dim. Text is really easy. And then we need to create a bitmap. We grab the image, whatever is selected in the picture box. So we use to draw the arcs or text or whatever else you need to. So now we'll just draw this right. Uh, if you notice you have a lot of other options also but we'll just work with the string for now so we'll select the ray but we declared uh, at the top and the font you can also s declare the font object at the top and just use it in here Or the color will be drawn with. For now, I'll just select the right color. And the point will be drawn on, so it'll be x, comma, y. And let's just do. It. And the last thing is just to save the image in the computer, or wherever you're going to debug the project. You can also give the full path in here uh, to the file system. And let's just run the program. It is a little off. I want it to appear at the bottom. So. Let's, let's move it down a little bit. Can make it run. It's just a 300. Let's see 500. I need to play around with it to adjust it accordingly. Uh, but you do notice at the bottom the command new bitmap dot save that will actually save the file. So let's look at the actual image file. We need to go to the folder where the program is. Right click, open folder in File Explorer, and go to the debug folder. And you do see the image file in here. If I open it, you do see the text drawn on it. So it is simple as that. You can also draw rectangles, arcs, and a bunch of other stuff. Thank you.